Now at five, there's a new way restaurants are serving more customers without opening new locations. Yeah, they're licensing recipes to be recreated remotely. CBS's Bradley Blackburn has more on how it works. When you smell smoked brisket and you see a dry rub, you're almost certainly deep in the heart of Texas. The meat, the smoke rolls over the top of the meat. Scott Moore Jr. owns Tejas Barbecue, one of the best spots in the state. You got brisket coming up. Tasting it has meant a trek here to the city of Tomball near Houston, where the line stretches out the door. It's not a cuisine that is easily found in Manhattan, obviously. At least until now. Tejas partnered with a company called Wonder that licensed its recipes and sent cooks to train in Texas. Texas so they can authentically recreate their barbecue here in New York City. We've invested a lot over the last few years on making sure that we're able to replicate the best food from the best restaurants and chefs around the country. Wonder founder Mark Laurie is bringing e-commerce innovation to food. A single location offers meals from more than a dozen restaurants, including iconic chefs like Bobby Flay and Jose Andres. But Tejas is their top seller. So New Yorkers like Texas perfect. They absolutely love it. It's one of several companies helping restaurants grow without traditional franchising. Goldbelly allows restaurants to ship everything from New Orleans gumbo to Chicago deep dish to diners cross country. Moore says the deal with Wonder is huge for a small business. The money that they were offering was more money than this restaurant was going to make over several years. This is the test. This is brisket. Of course, it all comes down to taste. This native Texan tried it in Tomball. This is the brisket in New York and the middle of Manhattan. It holds up. It is good. I'm hanging our hat on it. I'm proud to tell anybody from New York that that's, that's Tejas's product. A little bit of Texas some 1,600 miles away as more restaurants expand their reach. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York and Texas.